Hi guys. So I came up with this amazing idea for Nathan to give me like words from his job. You know, if you ever listen to pilot chatter or you, you can go online and listen to air traffic control and they talk really, really fast and it's almost sounds like they're talking a different language sometimes because they use lots of different words and terms and phrases. Brittany's idea was why don't we come up with a few phrases that would mean something to Slash me words. or words and she gets to guess them and we'll see how close she gets to what it is. So I'm going to see how good of a pilot I can be basically. So I've got a list list here on my uh, Crown Plaza hotel's notepad. So how uh, about... Here, first one. Okay. All right. How about radar contact? That is when Bye. you're flying in the sky okay. and the radio goes off. That's a radar contact. And you like make <laughs> contact with the land, with the people on the land. <laughs> is that right? <clears throat> sort of. <laughs> See? I am an awesome pilot already. So, when you get radar contact, that's when a controller, they'll tell you they have radar contact. That means they have you on their scope so they can watch you. So almost. Perfect. <laughs> I got okay. an A. How about Navade? That is about navigation. It's navigation aid. So if you need help navigating, it's your aid. Like it's your help to navigate in the sky. You're doing pretty good. Am I right? <laughs> navade. So, pretty much. So a navade. Oh my gosh, <clears throat> I could be a pilot, you guys. So we have radio aids um, and basically the instruments point at the radio aid and that's how you navigate. See? So navigate. I am awesome. I just okay. want to point that out. If you're so awesome, what are speed brakes? That's when you're going too fast and you have to put on the brakes. Speed <laughs> brakes. Is that right? Well, mm, sort of. <laughs> So, you've ever, I so if am, you've ever been descending I'm in a city, natural pilot. Like, so, I am a natural. Like, I could just get in a plane right now and get your just, license, like, like, fly right now. away. Get your license right yeah, now. Yeah, I could, like, just fly. So you got these little panels that come oh, up, out of the that. wing. And what it does is it helps slow the airplane down. Okay. Or, or descend. Well, see, I was right. Yeah, speed FYI. So. This guy flies, like, um, 767s now. Yeah. So he knows a little bit about how an airplane flies. All right, what about a decision altitude? So that's when you have to make a decision about the altitude that you fly. That's a decision <laughs> altitude. <laughs> I mean, if you can't decide and then you were like all of a sudden have to make a decision because you're, you're like the really, altitude is like, oh, I don't really know. Really <laughs> stretching it here. <laughs> get to a certain height above the airport. If you can't see the airport, you have to go missed. And so that, that's that altitude, altitude above the, altitude. yeah, that altitude above the airport's a decision altitude. See, I told you, if you're too high and you have to make a split decision, I mean, seriously, that's, that's. If you're not too high well. and you're not confused, <laughs> it's just the altitude that if you can't see the airport, you decide to go around. Well, so you just, you, you have to just execute like, the missed approach. go somewhere else. Okay, all right. Okay, good. Stretching it. I'm not awarding you any points for that. <laughs> okay, what about see and avoid? See and, oh, you see a bird and you avoid it. <laughs> you see, see like, so technically, you see something in the airplanes. air and you avoid, oh, it's see a bird. Airplanes are called birds too. I feel like I got that right. I got that one right. No, That's like no. 100%. That was no. 100%. So when you're flying, airplanes are called birds. So when you're, so there's, so. See and avoid is like the concept where when you fly around, don't hit other airplanes. You fly around. You fly around. <laughs> she's going to be learning to fly here soon. <laughs> On a future vlog, she's, <laughs> she's going to take pilot lessons. Uh, it's going to be great. And I'm going to be awesome gonna because be why? <laughs> I'm already a pilot, basically. Okay. Is that done? All right. Let's see. Let's see if I can get you here. Um, what about under the hood? So if you get your pilot license, your mm. private pilot certificate, you will have to have three hours under the hood. So what, what, will, you, what will you be doing for three hours under the hood? 
Oh, is it like tell me what she thinks. under the hood of clouds? So you're flying like below the clouds. <laughs> That's what I kind of think. Like <laughs> under the hood is like you know you're just kind of like you're under like the umbrella of the hood of clouds. <laughs> <laughs> we need to have like something to wipe up all the wine I spit across the table. Uh, Wrong. No. You can't always fly in the clouds, right? But if you're gonna get your private right in, you I have was to... close with the clouds. I said the word clouds. <laughs> that gets me like at least half a point. You have to fly in the clouds for three hours. So if you don't have clouds, so it's in the clouds. So it's not under. You have the clouds. what's called a hood. What is this? So, <clears throat> Brittany is under the hood. <laughs> so we're flying along, and Brittany can't see what's going on. Hey, help me. She can see all. <laughs> I'm under the see, hood. See all the instruments down there. And she gets to fly for three hours wearing this dumb looking thing. Oh my god, I would never do that in my life. Well, you said you want to get your license. So I'm not getting that kind of license. You're, you're, you're going to be crazy. Under, under the hood for three hours. You are crazy I'm not doing that. Yes, you are. No. But you're not getting your license then. No. Miss, I'm almost a pilot, or I'm a pretty much a pilot. I'm basically a pilot anyways. That's so stupid. I don't okay. need to fly under the hood to be a pilot. <laughs> All right, smarty pants. What is a mocha? Oh, that's something you order at Starbucks and you drink it. I feel like a mocha in airplane terms is going to be like, it's going to be brown because mochas are brown. It's such a brown thing. I'm going to go ahead and stop you. <laughs> okay, so mocha is an acronym that stands for Minimum Obstacle Clearance Altitude. What's a localizer? That's when you press a button to tell you what airport you're local to. <laughs> so it's like tender for airports? Yeah. It's an electronic signal. So it's a beam. That allows you to land. So it's like a light, yeah. like a laser. Not tender for air airports. Well, could be. What's a ferry flight? A ferry flight is when you take off from a ferry. No. That's when you fly an airplane empty because say the airplane is mm. here, but it's needed there. So you're gonna fly empty. I am basically a pilot. Like, I identify as a pilot, and therefore, I am a pilot. What is a stopway? Okay, so that's when you're going too fast, and there's like a thing that stops the <laughs> airplane from barreling into something. It's a stopway. Oh. Oh, I'm right. Oh my gosh. Not quite. Well, not quite. So, because you used to have airplanes that would go barreling off the end of the runway, now they've created something called a stopway. So if you can't stop at the end of the runway, there's a little bit, there's extra space built that you can stop the airplane in that space and it won't be, you know, you know, it won't be a right. crash. Tell me, look, look here, tell me what else, I can do that one. Tell me what else we have down here that you would like to define for us. Because so I have a lot of stuff scratched off now. Okay, choose two more. We'll do two more. How about a touchdown zone? Okay, what is the touchdown zone? A touchdown zone is when your little wheels come out of the airplane <laughs> and then you touch down. That's the zone that you touch down <laughs> in, like the area that you're supposed to touch down in, and if you miss it, then you're not in the touchdown zone anymore. Mostly right. What? <laughs> See, I knew it. So touchdown zone is within the first 3,000 3, feet of the runway. Last one, what's a map with an approach? Like you're coming to the airport, <clears throat> you're flying along, you're at your MDA, your minimum descent altitude, you can't see anything, and you hit your map, what do you do? You look to see where you're at. <laughs> because that's so what a map is. I don't know, it's kind of misleading. The map is a missed approach point, and you hit this point that if you can't see the runway now, you ain't gonna land. So that's called your missed approach point. So now I know some of the things that he knows as a pilot. Yeah, that's it for tonight. Yep. Thanks for watching. As always, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. And the like button. Don't forget the and, like button. And, well, that's thumbs up. That's a like. Or the subscribe button, that's it. <laughs> and I just said the subscribe button. <laughs> I'm new to this YouTube thing. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you guys in our next vlog.